$70 at home, DIY, by yourself, in your garage, in your mom's basement, ceramic coating. Here we go. What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the ceramic coating on my FRS. If you guys hear a lawnmower, that's because my neighbors have always shared their love for my videos and always turn them on when I'm filming. But today I'm going to be ceramic coating the FRS. And I posted a few videos ago about how I removed the swirl marks off the Nardo Grey paint. So if you guys want to go check out that video, I'm going to leave the link down below so that you guys can go check that out. In the meantime, I want to show you guys what ceramic coating I'll be using and how you can do this yourself. This video is sponsored by Avalon King. If you guys haven't heard of them yet, this is a DIY ceramic coating company. Pretty much you need everything in this box to complete a full ceramic coating job. By yourself, at your house, at your mom's house, at your dad's house, your friend's house, at a garage, it doesn't matter. You can do this as a beginner or a professional. So let me show you what's inside. This is what the box looks like. Just slide it right out. It has this great gray packaging. And inside you have this Armor Shield 9 ceramic coating bottle. There you get a microfiber cloth. Inside the box you get this applicator sponge. This bag of gloves. And three suede applicators that go onto your applicator sponge. As well as a Avalon King sticker and instructions. Pretty self-explanatory. As I mentioned before, this video is sponsored by Avalon King, so thank you so much for sending out this package and sponsoring this video. If you guys want to get money off your own DIY ceramic coating from Avalon King, use the code MAKEBETH25 to save you some money. Quickly, I wanted to share some of the few things that this ceramic coating protects you from. Tree gum, bird droppings, dirt, <laughs> scratches, rain, it's water repellent. Just a friendly reminder, you're going to want to work in an area that is very clean. In this instance, my garage is far from that, but I am going to clean it as much as I can before I bring the FRS inside. I'm going to be giving it its last wash before I wipe it down with alcohol. So Cody is going to help me out with that. Raining. Okay, nice. Cody's going to help me out with washing the FRS for the last time this is just to ensure that there's nothing on the car before we bring it into the garage and apply our alcohol so we're gonna go ahead and do that really quickly and then start the video on the website it says to use 70 percent alcohol I have alcohol right here so i'm gonna go ahead and use a clean microfiber cloth and i'm gonna work in sections it's very important for you to do a section at a time so i'm gonna focus on this rear quarter panel on the driver's side the ceramic coating will lock in any type of dirt or stain, so you want to make sure that everything is good before you apply the ceramic coating. So what you're going to do is grab your pad, have the logo facing front like that, and you're going to wrap it like so. And as you apply, you're going to hold the two sides with both your fingers and just try to keep a nice flat surface on the pad. So you're gonna go ahead and shake your ceramic coating. Make sure that it's really good, nice shaking up. Oh, that doesn't, it's not like horrible, but I thought it would smell like a Sharpie. I'm gonna go ahead and add anywhere between 10 to 12 drops in a straight single line. So we're gonna go one, so that you have everything covered. I'm a little bit nervous, but here we go.
Now, if you feel like you're running out, if you feel like you're running out of uh, the liquid, you're gonna go ahead and just reapply like so. I will say that it's a little bit different than a normal car because I have so many different crevices and, and curves on this Rocket Bunny. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and apply however you see fit. So my method might not be the same as yours, but so far it's so good. The instructions say to wait five minutes let it dry a little bit but don't wait too long and then use the provided microfiber cloth to remove any of the excess um, residue that's left behind by the ceramic coating so we're gonna go ahead and wait five minutes and then we'll go back and wipe it down five minutes later make sure you don't see any streaks at all I can immediately tell how glossy this quarter panel just turned compared to the rest of the car. I'm impressed, I'm impressed, but we're not done. And guys, you're gonna be readjusting this, this suede pad a few times. I don't have the perfect grip on it. Maybe it's because I'm nervous, but it just, it is what it is. So just make sure you have a steady hand. And if you don't, it's okay. Just make sure you remember where you put your application. Cause that's all that matters. Make sure that when you do this, you ate, you're hydrated, and you wear some cool clothing. This is so tight to my skin, I can't breathe.
So I wanted to show you guys the end result. This is incredibly shiny compared to how it used to look like. Boy oh boy, I have not seen the FRS look this shiny at all. Not even when I got her from the dealership. She didn't even look this shiny. Taking a tour. But overall, the whole entire car is finished. Look how shiny the hood is. I love it. So now you guys know that it takes a long time to get this done. But I'm going to go inside because I am super hungry. And we'll come back in a couple of days because I'm going to let this dry for a day or two. And then we'll experiment throwing some water on it. So it's been a few days and we're gonna see if the water is actually repelling from the FRS. So I'm gonna go ahead and just drop this on the car. You wanna follow me? We're gonna do it right here. That's pretty cool, it just falls off. Well guys, I had a really good time ceramic coating my car. I think this is a very good product and I'm not just saying that because it's sponsored. I really do think that it was an easy application, although it did take a long time to apply. You really need to make sure that your car is clean and that you follow every single step that Avalon King provides for you. If you guys want to save some money, go ahead and use Macbeth25 at the checkout on Avalon King's website. I'm going to be leaving all the information down below where you guys can go check out your own bottle of ceramic coating. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.